Hi, everybody. Welcome to my art gallery in my house. So this is the uh, third series that I'm having, but this is another great one. So I'm still working on the uh, art project with the uh, Black Lives Matter, the uh, coronavirus that entered the world, and I'm collecting all this information. I'm doing a lot of research and I'm putting all this together. So it's about almost finished. And what I'm doing is present my artwork to you and tell you all about each one of them. Uh, why did I did this art? What's the story behind it? And how it's going to affect your community and affect you. And some of the art is uh, you can use uh, as as uplifting your living room or your office space or your community or wherever you're going to hang it at but it would gives you a lot of value in this artwork so it's it's excellent for you to have for me to sell to you so that's what i'm doing now is doing my artwork and uh i hope you like what i'm doing okay so Again, my name is Melvin Eyes. I'm a professional artist. I'm a certified community producer at Brick Arts Medium. I'm a member of the Fulton Art Fair, as well as associated with the Dorsey Art Gallery. I'm here today, Tuesday, under the Brooklyn Bridge, and this is the uh, carousel but it's closed today but that's where I'm at and it's a very nice nice weather nice breeze and uh, you know I feel very very good being here videotaping my art so I want to tell you all about my art the reason why I'm taping it uh, the reason for it and uh, how it would uh, benefit you as well so the first one right here is uh, is the African ritual. Very nice piece of work. And uh, the reason why I did this because it's it's, uh, it's about a man and a woman and their own community looking over their community or looking over their children and uh, protecting them. So basically that's what this is about. It's in abstract. The other one is the uh, George Floyd situation where he got killed by a police officer putting his, his foot or his knee on his neck and George was letting him know I cannot breathe. This caused a huge, or sparked a huge upset in the community throughout the world. And through the Black Lives Matter, uh, it caused a protest worldwide. And it continue on that we're not taking this anymore. You cannot continue on killing us and getting away with it. So here you would also see uh, and the community the, uh, on the streets where it's in yellow and it's listed uh, a lot of different people that got killed 
by the police officer and it's letting you know black lives matter it got so it's there and then you got the protest behind it so it's letting you know that this shouldn't continue on happening now with this whole thing right here the uh, voting election is coming up and what I would advise for the young people that was marching and protesting, which was very good, is now you got to get out there and you got to vote. You can't just leave this alone. You see people that's in the office and you see what they are doing, which is nothing, and you got to get them out. Because if they're not with you, they're against you. So you got to get them out, put the right people in office, and vote. The only way you can have that is put your vote in because voting is power. And you need to start registering now. And by the time November, I believe it's the second or the third comes up, you can go and get your vote. You won't have too much of a problem. So this is, this is excellent for a lot of young people to do is to go out to vote because the marching is good, but now it's time to put something in action. And that's what you need to be doing. So the other one is abstract. I just did this in abstract. And uh, I got a few others that's in abstract, and I think you'll love that too. And the reason why I did that, because abstract is, uh, it tells its own story in an abstractable way. So this is a good, this is a good thing. I like these different colors because it has a huge amount of, you know, variations of color uh, where you can hang it in your, your living room, your bedroom, your office, uh, your community center, wherever. But it's a good abstract piece of work. So I got the other art that I want to show you as well. And I want to get closer up on this one right here. I just like the scenery right now, which is under the uh, Brooklyn Bridge and we at the carousel. So let me get a closer look on each one of these pieces. Right. So I'm going to zoom in on the uh, George Floyd first. There we go, there's George Floyd. And uh, that caused a real big upset. Now we're gonna get the uh, African rituals. And it's a great picture. To hang in your living room, your office space, your community center, wherever you want to hang it at. And then we have our abstract. And you could do the same thing, hang it in your living room, your community center, wherever you want to hang it at. This is very, very good. Here we are with the uh, corona that's causing all this outbreak of diseases. So we got the corona teaching the class and then you got the governor had to shut down everything because of the, uh, uh, the people that was being affected, that was causing other people that was getting affected. And he's showing us in a chart, which is right here, about the rate of the infection. So by him showing us the chart and the rate of the infection, he had to shut down the whole place. The whole everything had to be shut. And it's still, we're still going through this right now. We're still going through it. It's crazy. 
But that's what this corona, this what this is all about right here. So now you have uh, the parks, the subways, everything is shut down. The only people that's working is the nurses, the uh, police officers, the fire engineer, people like that, because these are central workers. But the rest of us, we had to go inside and quarantine ourselves and stay there. Now you got some people that took off, went to other states, but then they realized that they was infecting other people. Now that was crazy. So we couldn't do that. That's a big, big, big time problem. We still going through all of this. So now you got a person right here, he's running from the corona, and then you got the old people that's being affected and they, they die like in a old place homes are dying a lot. Now here's the nurses again. Now here we got the students are watching or listening to the uh, corona teaching the class how he's killing everybody. But here are written in hieroglyphics in the back of their, uh, their shirt or their sweater, their attire. And what it's saying right here is uh, the first one in green, God help us all. So that way, because uh, we need prayer, we need help. We don't even know we ever get out of this. So we, we, we are being destroyed. We could have saved a lot of people. We could have did that if the Republican would have had uh, funded what Obama wanted them to fund back in 2014 about a panel, a disease control panel, to look out for all of these things and, and to stop it before it even into our shores. But they didn't want to fund it. We have to put in place an infrastructure, not just here at home, but globally, that allows us to see it quickly, isolate it quickly, respond to it quickly. So that if and when a new strain of flu, like the Spanish flu, crops up, five years from now, or a decade from now, we've made the investment. And then you had in 2019, where the Democrat won. They warned the president about this upcoming pandemic, but he took it as a, a hoax. Oh, here's the Democrat, another one of their hoax. But then 2020, here we are. Everybody get affected. So many people died and continue on dying from this and there's no vaccine because he, the president, didn't jump on this early enough or didn't really care. So you can't, and then he starts lying about it. So that right there is a big problem to everybody. And that's why I'm emphasizing for the young people, although y'all did a great job of marching, but now you need to put that in office. You need to come out and vote. You need to get people that's gonna do things for us in the office and the other ones that's not, get them out. Because this is gonna continue on going on and on and on unless you take over or us take over and uh, get the right people in there by voting. Now, this one right here I'm gonna show you is a boy reading a book. This is a great, a great artwork where it's, it's, it's uh, actually letting you see that this is what you need to be doing. Most of young people, you need to be sitting down reading, educating yourself, and that's what he's doing right here. In the woods, wherever he's at, and uh, he's getting away from all this other stupid stuff that's going on. And he's getting involved with his, his mind, his education. And I'm pretty sure he got good parents, parenting behind that that's nurturing him in the right direction. So this is an excellent, excellent uh, artwork as well. So again, I'm hoping you take all this in. 
And I, like I said, I'm building uh, my artwork, uh, building a website. And the minute I have everything completed, I will share with you where you can locate me at. Now, when you look at this other picture, right here, this is actually showing you and is in the classroom setting again. As the kids is holding up their hand, the teacher was showing them about the effects of corona and how it destroyed our community and you had a lot of people dying. So that's that's what they're showing you right there. They, they're in the hospital, they're taking them out and then, you know, in the box. It was so miserable seeing this frightening we was messed up looking at this and they said we ain't got no no cure no nothing you got to stay inside and if you're coming from they shut down everything so if you come people was leaving where they was at to go to another state and then they didn't realize they were spreading it over there so that was another problem so you got to wear the mask you got to stand, you got to quarantine yourself 14 days. So that was the deal. And that's educational. Now, while all of this was going on, and it was so crazy, the next thing we know, let me show you right here. Here we go. George Floyd. Yeah. Ain't this something? I cannot breathe. You had this police officer got his his foot on his neck, and he could. He told him, "I can't breathe." Later on, he died, and you know what happened after? It sparked a huge movement throughout the world. Young people, white people, everybody came out and they marched. Black Lives Matter organization. It was, it was something. And it was letting the people know, letting the officers know, letting the world know we're not going to take this anymore. You can't keep doing this to us. So, Every place you looked at, even in Washington, New York, everywhere, they had in certain places on the street and yellow, Black Lives Matter, and then they had the names of certain people that was killed by police officers. So this is educational. And it was kept marching. I took part of the Black Lives Matter uh, painting at the Restoration Plaza on Fulton Street in Brooklyn to show my concern, and it it was it was something to see this, to do it, to keep doing it, and stand up. Now, with all of this is said and done, there is the election that's coming up. Now, you could take everything that we just went through, the marching, watch the deceiving, the lies from the president, went through all of this, you need to make a move. Because you can't change nothing if you don't vote. You got to vote. You got to do all of that now, register it. And young people got to vote to get them out of the office because they're going to continue on doing this, continue on doing the same thing over and over again. So we got to get them out. Can't spend no more terms. You had to shot. You're dead. So this is the situation. So this way, my way of giving back as an artist to reveal this educational to the world, to the public. That way, 
we can't like we cannot let this continue happening. Cannot. And you gotta show this or educate your young people or your kids. Just watch the film. And I wanna also show you at the end of the filming, I wanna bring you back and I wanna educate you on what happened because now you're going to hear from their own mouth. 2014, 2019, 2020. How he didn't do anything. And you know who he is the president. They tried to warn him. And he didn't take that warning. And then he lied kept lying about it. Oh, I didn't want to tell them because if I told them I didn't want nobody to panic. No, you didn't know. You didn't care. See, that was another lie. And they're going to show you he went out there and played golf. He didn't care. So all this is going to be there. When you see this on my social media page, it's going to be under the ATT artwork and then also under my name Melvin Isaac so you got two parts there spread this news keep them young people to vote educate them because this ain't no joke this is our lives this is this is the whole world it's not just the United States of America they got this doggone thing going through the whole world and it could have been saved and they still ain't got no vaccine I want to tell you something I ain't been sick since, and you said you got a vaccine coming out and you don't know how it works? You got to be out of your mind. You got to be crazy. You remember about the uh, Spanish flu? Yeah, think about that. And it's the same going on mess. It just continues going on. I don't know what it is. Population destroying, decrease, whatever it might be, but we got to wake up. Got to wake up. Educate your people, educate yourself, and vote. And that's my message. And I'm out of here. So now, uh, if there's still some time left, I'll share with you some other uh, art galleries that I'm always filming or I already filmed in the past. And not only that, uh, I did some interviews with some famous black artists. So if there's time permitted, you will see that as well. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoy my show. Uh, I welcome you back again. It comes on every Monday and Wednesday from 1 a.m., 11 p.m., and 4 p.m on cable vision 68 Verizon 50 42 or 43 and uh, if you have any questions or you want some more information you can always go to my email which is misaac718 at yahoo.com or you want to actually personally call me for whatever the reason might be I'll be happy to take your call as well. And it's at 347-328-2471. So I welcome you all. I'm happy to give this information out. And uh, please, by all means, continue to uh, be safe, be careful, because we still into this virus that have not left yet no matter what we do is still here so you got to be cautious wear your mask make sure you wash your hands sanitize six feet away you know and also with the uh, from the black lives matter march from george floyd that promoted all of this, uh, change always would come 
when you put the right people in office. So November is coming up and that's a big election. So don't forget to vote. Start registering now, young people. That way you have your name on the ballot, not on the ballot, but you have your name there where they can look you up and then you can vote. So start doing all this now, go online. Uh, that way you know what you gotta do. And now I send all this message to you as well. You see all this gonna come up as, you know, as we talking. So again, uh, y'all take care. And I hope you enjoy this information I just gave out. And don't forget, I still got my series coming up with the uh, art project uh, that I'm doing, that I'm putting everything together. So there we have it. Y'all take care, and I'll see y'all again. Bye. <laughs>